Hey guys, welcome back to the Gazelle Lab. This is Anthony. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a lock screen on your Galaxy S3 smartphone. Uh, I always recommend a lock screen to make sure your device is secure. Just in case you lose your phone, uh, you know your data is, is nice and safe. There are definitely ways to bypass a lock screen, but uh, putting in a lock screen is a great first step to keep your device nice and safe. Uh, so let me show you how to do that right now. There are a bunch of different variations that offer more security and less security, so I'm going to guide you through the, all those different variations right now. Uh, so to get there, what you want to do is go into Settings, uh, and then you go down to the section that says Personal, and you can see that right here, uh, and select Lock Screen. Uh, so right now, it, this thing is set up for uh, the swipe method of the lock screen, which I can show you if you hit the power button, and then you re hit it again, just a single swipe. So that's not that much of security option right there, just a single swipe, anyone can get in. Uh, and you also get some options on here where you can show some stuff on the screen, so some shortcuts, uh, information ticker, clock, dual clock, weather, that ripple effect that we saw, uh, that's selected, probably drains the battery a little bit more. Uh, a wake up in the lock screen and a set up a wake up a command. So a lot of cool options, but really no security. So if you go back here, you can take a look at all the rest of them. So there's a motion option and it shows you how to use while tapping and holding the screen, tilt the device forward to unlock. If the screen does not yet unlock, try tilting the device more. You know, this is really a kind of gimmicky, not really that much security, but uh, it is does look kind of cool. Uh, so let's go back there again. As the next one is face unlock. So this one is the face unlock where, you know, you're going to look at it and it's going to take a picture of your face and unlock the phone for you essentially but I've tried this in the past really not too great if someone's generally somewhat similar looking to you or same head head shape uh, they can get into your phone too so it's another one I really don't recommend that highly uh, then there's face and voice so this will be the same thing uh, you know but it also adds voice to this as well and Let's get on pattern. So now pattern is one that I like. You know, pattern's very nice. So this one, you just draw a pattern on this. A lot of people use this on their on their Android smartphone. So let's we can set one up right now. So let's say you want to draw just a basic pattern. Pattern recorded. Continue. You just do that same one over again. And you confirm it. Uh, now it's going to ask you for a backup pin. So I'm going to put four zeros in here. It's just in case you forget your your pattern. Okay, so now your screen is locked with a pattern, so we can test that out. So you still gotta swipe to get to that thing, because we have swipe enabled. And then there you go, now you're unlocked. So I like pattern, very difficult to figure out. You just gotta make sure you remember it. Uh, so let's Go back in and see the rest of them. Uh, now let's go into pin. You know, pin is really cool. You know, standard four uh, four digit pin. I'm just using all zeros right now. Don't use that. It's probably the most common one. Uh, I usually use pin on all my on all my smartphones. I really like pin. I highly recommend using a pin code. Uh, one, two, three, four. So now, and then the last one is a password. You know, this is a lot of high security, but you're going to have to type in a full word, which, uh, you know, if your screen timeout is set for 20 seconds, 15 seconds, you're going to be putting in that password, uh, you know, all the time. Uh, so I really like PIN or the pattern are my two favorites. And the last option here is you can put some owner information. Just in case you do lose your phone, you can put, like, please call me at your phone number. And if someone finds that they can return you the phone, most likely they probably will not. Uh, you know, but it doesn't hurt to put that in there. So there you have it. Uh, those are all the screen options, the screen screen lock options for your Galaxy S3. Like I said, I recommend uh, a pin or a pattern. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.